There we go. Trivium! Feast of Fire. So, what I'm expecting from this song? The last one was heavy as balls. You know, almost all out, harsh vocals, crazy, you know, kind of a little bit like a scene and the sentence and a couple of other songs. I'm expecting that this one will be a lot more melodic, a lot more focused on clean vocals. And on just overall guitar melodies and stuff like that. Catchy stuff, you know, maybe a little bit more radio friendly, but that doesn't mean that it have to be that has to be a bad song. This has to be a bad song. English. How does it work? We're gonna find out with Trivia. Feast the fire, let's go. Sinner said that this is a banger, I agree. Still one of my favorites to this day. Bring it on boys. Oh shit. Talk about it. Ooh. What are we grooving? Bet you is a fucking hitman right now. And those vocals. Nice. Bold man, yeah. Ooh, that Ooh. Chills. Ooh, it's groovy so hot. <laughs> I was like, I thought for a second that this was Jack Black. But what I wanted to say is, uh, yeah, it's kind of what I expected, but that, I mean that in the best possible way, because the chorus is fucking awesome, you have great melodies, Matt is sounding fucking awesome in the verses, and also in the chorus, you know, you have some layering with the harsh vocals, fucking cool stuff, but it also has that groove, you know, it has that groove, just fucking makes you wanna punch into a wall, uh, don't do that actually, let's move on. Simply, this is a radio song, oh yeah. You know, the bass really shines in the verses. All the work in the magic. And then the repeats. The radio station is playing this, I need to know. Actually, Rock Max, right here. Those guys will definitely play, be playing this song. Lead in the chorus is so good. And Alex's symbols are shinier than Matt's head. That looks like a gremlin. Oh shit, Jesus Christ. Oh! Oh, this riff! Man, this riff makes me want to sell my Adidas pens and I'm Slavic, okay? That says something. Turn into a country station. Oh, oh, oh no. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give a Corey. I hope his name is Corey. Mm. That base. It's just as tasty, tasty as this fucking Dr. Pepper, okay. We're, we're, we're getting... We're getting into the finale. Yeah! I can get over the bass, man. Ooh. Nice right hi-hat. Right hi-hat where we're from. That looks bad. 
Ooh, we got some base tap in. I combined with lead with it's so it's bliss. This song, I think I can say that. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's like ending, you know, the scene in the sentence with like just going all out. Just in like a shorter version. But yeah, that was Trivium Feast of Fire. And I, I've seen some comments or some people saying like, oh man, this song sucks. You know, it's not as good as the first one. And you know, obviously you have the first one. It's more for the fans of, you know, like the heavier Trivium, you know, like the Shogun kind of Trivium. This one is leaning a little bit more into the newer stuff, but it still has that freaking stopping force. You know, those riffs are just massive. We got, <laughs> sorry about that, <laughs> we got fucking tapped bass riffs, or melodies, whatever, you know what I mean. We got beautiful lead guitars, not only in the chorus, but also, you know, basically for all the whole song, just tasty, tasty. We have groovy stuff that just makes you wanna freaking do stuff, do horrible stuff to, um, yeah, that. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Uh, but, holy fuck, this was so good. You know, I, I thought that it's not gonna get better than the first one, but I think I actually like this one better than In the Court of the Dragon, for some reason that I cannot specify. Actually, I like them both equally, but for different reasons, I think. Yeah, that's, that's, be that's better. So, yeah. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, and if you enjoyed the reaction, please do consider leaving a thumbs up. And check the link in the description, I stream on Twitch every Monday to Thursday at 8.45pm. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, and let me know how you feel about this song, how you're excited for the new album from Trivium. Which song do you prefer, Feast of Fire or In the Court of the Dragon? Or, you know, any kind of faults that you have, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Cheers, and boom.